Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your NVIDIA Shield controller up to your Mac. You have to do it via a wire. The Bluetooth, the wireless option does not seem to work. If anyone has a solution, feel free to let me know. But I've had no luck. So this is how you connect it via a wire. So let me just show you the controller. So you do the controller now. So you need a controller. You need a micro USB cable, which I've got right here. Plug, you know, the other end into your Mac. But before I connect it, Go to your emulator and uh, make sure a game is not open because you can't get into preferences if it is. Go to preferences, go to configure. As you can see, there's nothing here. So what you want to do now is connect this up. Okay, that's all connected. Go to configure and it's all right here. So if I double click this, as you can see, for some reason, I'm not you know pressing literally any button on the actual controller. You just keep saying hat zero up which is you know the d-pad so we don't want that so to alleviate that problem if you do have this problem where you can't actually map anything what you want to do is keep this pressed to the blue light starts flashing and press it again and now it's okay if you do have that issue that's how you fix it uh, let's go to down uh, left right so i'll do that as a so it's mapping it the same way in terms of you know the position that you would be used to on your playstation circle oh no that was meant to be triangle i'll go back to square and do that l1 which is this one right here okay so this is interesting because these two buttons don't seem to work. Actually, this one does, um, but this one does. So only that one seems to work. So I just map it using the L3 and R3 because we're not using this for the emulator. So, so oh, what happened there? I think I just went off it. So I just do that via this one and via that one. Uh, that's it. So we should be all ready to run it now. So it's, you know, map it the way you want it. And uh, now, if we go to the emulator, run recent, and I'm going to go to defrost state because I've already got it at the menu. And as you can see, it is all working. But I'll get into it and show you it working now. And if I press these in. As you can, you can pause it for press that, we will go back to the map. Square, circle, square and circle in this game actually do the same thing using Crash Bandicoot 2 that they introduced the slider, slide mechanism function with circle. Let me turn the volume down, and there we go. So that's it. As you can see, we've got a NVIDIA Shield controller connected up, all mapped to our Mac, and using it with the PC SXR emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message.